In a few minutes, we're going to share our vision for the future. And with all the scrutiny and public debate, some of you might be wondering why we're doing this right now. The answer is that I believe that we're put on this earth to create. I believe that technology can make our lives better, and I believe that the future won't be built on its own. It will be built by those who are willing to stand up and say, this is the future we want, and I'm going to keep pushing and giving everything I've got to make this happen. Now, I know that some people will say that this isn't a time to focus on the future. And I want to acknowledge that there are important issues to work on in the present. There always will be. So for many people, I'm just not sure there ever will be a good time to focus on the future. But I also know that there are a lot of you who feel the same way that I do. We live for what we're building, and while we make mistakes, we keep learning and building and moving forward. So for all of you who share these values, I dedicate today to you. In my mind, you're the heroes in our society who push the world forward. And as long as I'm running this company, I will do my best to celebrate this spirit and absolutely go for it. going to take us but the real question is where are we going to take the future there are no closed doors no walls holy mackerel this is unbelievable you may have brain surgeons in edinburgh operating on patients in new zealand you'll send emotions feelings memories Imagine a world where we are represented the way we want to be. You know, in the future, it just feels like long distance won't be so distant. There's a big frontier. Where do you want to go? getting started. Appreciate the past, utilize the present, but don't be afraid to create the future. I'll do this together. The basic story of technology in our lifetimes is how it's given us the power to express ourselves and experience the world with ever greater richness. Back when I started Facebook, that mostly meant text that we typed on computers. Then we all got phones with cameras, and the internet became much more visual. And recently, as connections got faster, video has become the main way that we experience content. We've gone from desktop to web to phones, from text to photos to video, but this isn't the end of the line. The next platform and medium will be even more immersive, an embodied internet where you're in the experience, not just looking at it. And we call this the metaverse. And you're gonna be able to do almost anything you can imagine. Get together with friends and family, work, learn, play, shop, create, as well as entirely new categories that don't really fit how we think about computers or phones today. Now, since we're doing this remotely today, I, I figured let's make this special. So. We've put together something that I think is really going to give you a feeling for what this future could be like. We believe the metaverse will be the successor to the mobile internet. We'll be able to feel present, like we're right there with people, no matter how far apart we actually are. We'll be able to express ourselves in new, joyful, completely immersive ways. And that's going to unlock a lot of amazing new experiences. When I send my parents a video of my kids, they're gonna feel like they're right in the moment with us, not peering through a little window. When you play a game with your friends, you'll feel like you're right there together in a different world, not just on your computer by yourself. And when you're in a meeting in the metaverse, it'll feel like you're right in the room together, making eye contact, having a shared sense of space, and not just looking at a grid of faces on a screen. That's what we mean by an embodied internet. Instead of looking at a screen, you're gonna be in these experiences. 
Everything we do online today, connecting socially, entertainment, games, work, is going to be more natural and vivid. This isn't about spending more time on screens. It's about making the time that we already spend better. Screens just can't convey the full range of human expression and connection. They can't deliver that deep feeling of presence. But the next version of the internet can. That's what we should be working towards. Technology that's built around people and how we actually experience the world and interact with each other. That's what the metaverse is all about. Now, the best way to understand the metaverse is to experience it yourself. But it's a little tough because it doesn't fully exist yet. Some of the basic building blocks are here, though, and others are starting to emerge as we speak. We're starting to get a sense of how it could all come together and what it could feel like. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Rather than just focusing on this year's products like a normal keynote, we're going to talk about the future. So let's start by exploring what different kinds of metaverse experiences could feel like. Starting with the most important experience of all: connecting with people. And we are still the company that designs technology around people. But now we have a new north star to help bring the metaverse to life, and we have a new name that reflects the full breadth of what we do and the future that we want to help build. From now on, we're going to be metaverse first, not Facebook first. That means that over time, you won't need to use Facebook to use our other services. And as our new brand starts showing up in our products, I hope that people come to know the meta brand and the future that we stand for. I used to love studying classics, and the word meta comes from the Greek word meaning beyond. For me, it symbolizes that there is always more to build. There is always a next chapter to the story. And for us, that's a story that. Started in a dorm room, and grew beyond anything we could imagine, into a family of apps that people use to find one another, to find their voice, to start businesses and communities and movements that have changed the world. I'm proud of what we've built so far, and excited about what comes next as we move beyond what's possible today, beyond the constraints of screens, beyond the limits of distance and physics, and towards a future where everyone can be present with each other. Create new opportunities and experience new things. It's a future that is beyond any one company that will be made by all of us. We've built things that have brought people together in new ways. We've learned a lot from struggling with social issues and living under closed platforms. And now it is time to take everything that we have learned and help build the next chapter. I am dedicating our energy to this more than any other company in the world. And if this is the future that you want to see, then I hope that you will join us, because the future is going to be beyond anything we can imagine. Wow! 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 I hope everyone was sitting down for that announcement. Never a dull moment around here, and I, for one, I'm 